Okay, so we have a rectangle, 7 wide by 9 long. And we, then we have, uh, we cut out here a square, which is 4 by 4. Okay, so let's take, let's make the green part be the area that we care about. We're supposed to find this area in here. Obviously, I'm not going to fill this all the way in, but that's the area. And then this red part is the part that's cut out. So we don't care about that. We're not calculating that. We're calculating the green area. Okay. So let's just quickly remind ourselves what is the area of a rectangle or a square. Um, it is area equal to the length times the width. Okay, so there's two approaches you can take to this. You can calculate the area of the rectangle with the square included and then subtract the area of the square, or you can cut this rectangle into two small rectangles and calculate those two areas and then add them. Okay, so let's do the first one and then we can do the second one. We'll see that we get the same answer. So the area of the rectangle if the square hadn't been cut out, I'll say the area of the rectangle is equal to the length times the width, and that is just 9 times 7, which equals 63. Okay? Then we have the area of the square which is equal to its length times its width, which happen to be the same for squares. Okay. And that is 4 times 4 is equal to 16. So if we start off with area 63 and we take away area 16, we have 63 minus 16 equal to, so that's 50, 47. 47. Okay, so that's our answer. Now let's try it the other way. Let's just do, 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 cut this. Okay, so if this side here, um, actually, I don't know if you guys can see my pen, if this side here is length 4, that means this side here must be length 4. Okay, so I'm going to put 4 there. And if this side here is length 4, then this side here must also be length 4. Okay? So the length of this side plus the length of, or the length of this little piece plus the length of this little piece is uh, equal to this whole side, which is 7. So that means this bit that's cut away leaves le 3 left of 7. So 3 plus 4 is 7, which is the same as this side. All right? Now, um, actually, maybe... So this side is also 3 on this little tiny square. And uh, then this bit that's left here is 9 minus 4, okay, which is 5. All right. I'm just going to erase the 9 for the moment because I don't think we need that anymore. Here goes the 9. Okay. And all right, we're back to the pen. Okay, so we have, um, actually, we don't even need these numbers anymore. Let's get rid of those. Okay. So we have two, we have this uh, 7 by 5 rectangle and this 4 by 3 rectangle. Okay. And we are going to calculate their areas and then add them. So let's say area of rectangle 1 is equal to length 1 times width 1, and then area of rectangle 2 is equal to length 2 times width 2. Okay, So length 1 is 7, and width 1 is 5. So 7 times 5, which equals 35. And then length 2 is 4, and width 2 is 3. So 4 times 3 equals 12, okay? Now, the, 
the area of this weird shape is the area of this one. Uh, actually, let me put my back on. So the area of this big shape here, okay, with the square cut out, is equal to this area in the 7 by 5 plus this area. So we'll add their areas, and we get 35 plus 12, which is equal to 47. And wouldn't you know, these two numbers here are the same, which just kind of proves that, um, or it's more evidence to convince us that we've done the right thing. And I'm kind of curious to see how you guys solved it. So um, let, shoot a video of your solution. Send it back to me. I'm, I'm, I want to see where the mistake came.